So this is a time period where some people might be eight weeks out, some people may be starting a prep and thinking about using some lipolytics such as clenbuterol or your humbine. A lot of people use these without really con much context of how they work. So this video is just to serve purpose to give you an idea of roughly how they work, some of the side effects that they can give you, but in the most simplistic terms that I could put in, right? So these fat burners, quote unquote, how, how they work, right? So we think about, let's just take a fat cell first, right? Fat cell's got two receptors. It's got an alpha over here. This is like the bad guy, right? And it's got a beta over here, right? I'll explain why one's bad and why one's good in a minute. Now, what the likes of clenbuterol and your humbine will do is it will increase our sympathetic drive or sympathetic nervous system. If you're not sure what that means, you've heard of fight or flight before. Yeah, that one system that you know gets your heart rate pumping, right? So when we get this increase in the sympathetic drive, you will get catecholamines, adrenaline, noradrenaline levels elevated in the bloodstream. Now, when they're elevated in the bloodstream, they will bind to the beta receptor, which, which is just good, because that's going to help us mobilize body fat. Now, if we were to get binding to the alpha receptor, then there's not going to be any fat loss or fat mobilization occurring, right? So you'll get a pro pronounced effect off a of clenbuterol in regards to a sympathetic drive, and you'll know this if you've taken it. You'll you, you, you get the shakes, you know, your heart rate will, will be going, you'll get heart palpitations, you'll, you'll be sweating, perhaps you might get an, a little bit of anxiety, you might feel a little bit warm because you get an increase in thermogenesis, and you ultimately you're going to get an increase in blood pressure as well. Now, your humbine will do that, but to a much lesser extent. Um, the also good thing about your humbine is remember that bad guy, that bad receptor, we said the alpha, your humbine binds to that. Now you're thinking, Vaughn, that's not a good thing. Well, it is because what it does, it binds to it and it shuts it down and it allows adrenaline or adrenaline to do its job with these guys, all right? The beta receptor, as we called it, the one that when we get binding, we get fat burning or fat mobilization. Now, People often say to take the likes of your humbine and clen, especially when you have stubborn body fat. And people go, well, Vaughn, why, why would you do that? Now, in these stubborn body parts, you'll have a high level of the alpha receptor. You know that bad guy I talked about? So it makes them more resistant to fat mobilization or fat burning. So when your humbine comes in and it says, right, stubborn body parts, we're going to just shut you down. You've upregulated that sympathetic nervous system. A lot of the binding from the catecholamines happens on that beta receptor, the good guy, and we get fat burning. So I hope that gives you some context of how they work in the most layman's terms I can, can give you. Um, my suggestion would be that if you're going to take your humbine, which is perfectly legal, by the way, even in natural federations, would be to take it far away from food, preferably in what you know fasted state, just because insulin, which is released after we ingest food, will tend to dampen its effects or completely kill its effects. Because of the massive surge in sympathetic drive from clenbuterol, I would take that as far away from sleep as possible. So first thing I put in the morning, I'd take that. Don't be taking it midday, don't be taking it at night, as far away from sleep as possible. Now, if you are going to use them, be sensible, yeah? Don't be a fanny about it. Don't just pop them like they're sweeties because that's dangerous, right? If you are perhaps a bikini girl, you don't need to be using it. However, we're not naive to the fact that bikini girls will use it and it's like the, the standard's getting higher and higher and higher because people want to get leaner. Um, especially when you get to like British finals and stuff. So it is used, if you are going to use it, just be sensible with it. If you're doing like a, a regional qualifier, you just might not need it. Um, and of course it will be used perhaps in the, you know, the figure federations and the male bodybuilding category side of things. Um, but 
if anyone's telling you you need to take it, I don't think you need to. It's just a case of it's a tool that you can use. So if you're prepping this year, I hope it goes well. Um, I hope that if you do choose to use your Humbine and Clen, you utilize them effectively and you just keep them in that toolbox uh, for as long as you can. You can start your Humbine early, but save Clen for that really last bit of prep when you might need it. Thanks guys, have a good day.